Developing here in the past 45 minutes, the NTSB says the school bus driver involved in that deadly Chattanooga crash was not on the designated bus route. They're reviewing video from the three cameras on that bus. Police say toxicology reports on bus driver Jonathan Walker show that no traces of drugs or alcohol. Officers say Walker was speeding Monday when he lost control and he hit the tree. Five children were killed. Also in the last 45 minutes, investigators said they completed a mechanical investigation of the bus involved in that accident. The NTSB tweeted these pictures of the investigators looking over that bus. The head of the agency told Channel 2 he's in favor of seat belts in school buses. They don't have them now. Channel 2's Tom Regan reports from Chattanooga on what's next. The wreckage of the elementary school bus has been towed to a warehouse where federal investigators are searching for clues on the cause of the crash. In the meantime, mourners are placing flowers, balloons, and stuffed animals at the neighborhood crash site to express sympathy for the five children who died and their families. This woman can relate. Her daughter was killed in a school bus crash in Knoxville, Tennessee, just two years ago. I feel their pain. I know their pain. That's why we're here. The NTSB hopes a data collecting module in the bus engine compartment will reveal the speed of the bus at the time of the crash and other vital information. They'll also review video from multiple angles in the bus and the driving history and training of the driver, 24 year old Jonathan Walker. Some of the parents were wondering, should I put my child on this bus? The answer is absolutely. The NTSB chairman told me half a million school buses carry 25 million students to and from school each day. Fatal crash are extremely rare, but he supports the use of seat belts to protect students in crashes, especially side impact and rollovers. We ask school districts that are buying new buses to consider the benefits of lap and shoulder belts in their new bus purchases. I'm just so full of grief right now because, like I said, this could have been my grandson, and I'm just praying for the family. The bus driver is jailed on charges of vehicular homicide and reckless driving. His first court appearance is scheduled for November 29th. In Chattanooga, Tennessee, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News.